You know, you guys were all here in the glory years, and we like to say where tradition meets today. You know, we're starting the golden era here with Todd Golden as our new coach and really working hard to get it back to that golden era. What were some of your fondest memories of that time, Bill, and you know, playing around that greatness and uh, when the league champions were just the norm, it was the way it was? Well, you're young, so just coming in here, you feel like you want to establish yourself. I was fortunate. I came in with Woodford Boynes, James Hardy, um, along with the guys that were already here, guys like Marlon Redman. Uh, so we had a good team. We had really good uh, NBA potential players already here. So it was more about trying to establish yourself. And when you're a kid, you kind of think you're pretty good. So now you're going to really find out because uh, when I got here, I got beat up every day. Howard Smith beat the tournament in practice. So you, uh, you know, it kind of puts you on edge and, and you want to prove yourself and establish yourself. Um, we, our freshman year was really, really hard, but uh, um, somehow we pushed through it and we're able to establish ourselves. And uh, then when I was a sophomore, we were, uh, for the most part, the number one team in the country. So it was a fight, but uh, but um, as a matter of fact, the first week of, uh, of our practices, we fought every day. There was a fight every day of practice. So that let you know that guys were really trying to establish themselves. Yeah. And Mike, you're part of that first national championship team your freshman year. You weren't eligible to play, but I'm sure you contributed greatly as a practice player and whatnot. Uh, oh, and then yeah. You're... I used to beat Russell up all the time. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was my job. There you go. I can see that. So, in sophomore year, win the national championship. You know, obviously that's a great memory. But do you have other memories besides that we'd share? Would that be the the, uh, the top? Well, I think uh, the one thing that keeps coming back to me all the time was that I was kind of, you know, full of myself as a freshman here, and uh, I told Casey Jones, I said, Casey, I think I can beat out Russell for center next year. <laughs> and the first thing he said to me was, Kid you better find yourself another position if you ever want to get off the bench. Wow. So Ross Judice, who was our assistant coach, he took me aside all summer. We worked at the forward position, and I was very fortunate as a sophomore to start on that championship team, the 56 championship team. And that was my high and low uh, in that tournament. I had 26 points against SMU the first night, and I had zero against Iowa the next night. Yeah, but I'm sure <laughs> so you So I had the it. high and the low yeah, at that time. That's pretty great. And Joe, how about yourself? What would you say is a, a great memory of those glory days? I mean, all the, all the time here. You know, I just remember the, the energy and the buzz in Memorial Gym. I mean, you, we always had people just hanging from the rafters. There was so much energy in there that uh, uh, they wouldn't allow you to have bad games. <laughs> You know, because they were, you know, I mean, they were hanging. They were really hanging off the rafters. And it, it's, it was just, uh, I just wanted to fit in. You know, I, I love the game. I grew up playing against the older guys in West Oakland and uh, on the playground. So uh, I just came and played. You know, it was all fun to me. You know, it was, it was new. You know, I knew it was a step up, but I was uh, challenged to try to meet that, to meet that challenge. That's great. And Ollie, how about yourself? Well, to echo what Joe was saying, uh, the competitiveness um, came into the gym. There was a fight every day, and the game was easy after after practice. And we had so much, I think, uh, material personnel that came here. Uh, we were good, and the, the next year Joe came in. My would have been my uh, junior year, and Joe's freshman no, would have been uh, sophomore year. Your freshman year, because freshmen couldn't play, and they brought in the three amigos. I call them Joe. Russ Garina and Irwin, and that kind of that kind of got us going and uh, kept us going. So we really had a good team. And I remember Joe echoing what Joe said again: the gym, Santa Clara and St. Mary's, you couldn't get in the gym. That was very fierce. Uh, and I think the other teams in the league was pretty good too. We won every year, three years in a row. But it was a dog fight, and we really had to play, and we did that. Had a very good team. And people don't realize that back then the NCAA tournament wasn't like it was, is now. I mean, you played your region, so the Dons always had to go up against UCLA uh, in the tournament, which always was a, a big factor. And I think with the, with the current format, it would have certainly been more advantageous and probably would have led to more Final Fours and maybe more national championships. Would you agree with that, Bill? Well, I wasn't in there, but, you know, we did, uh, we did end up playing some pretty tough teams. Like... Uh, the year we uh, were 
number one team in the country. Our first opponent in the NCAA was Nevada Las Vegas, which was a nightmare because that's the team that ended up going to the Final Four. And it was baffling how we could play such a good team uh, in the first round of the playoffs. But, um, you know, unfortunately we came up short there, but there, there were some uh, really, really good teams back then. So. Uh, that loss, last loss of the regular season probably hurt you and had you have to play Vegas in that first round? Yeah, we had some shenanigans go on in Notre Dame, but uh, what started with a broken down bus and no heating in the uh, hotel, so <laughs> that, that lets you know what they do in Notre Dame. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Ray Darbeck in yeah, the dark. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Turn up the heat. And Mike, how about you? I mean, who, who, was, who would you run into in that playoff situation in the NCAA's tournament? Uh, we played UCLA and we played Cal up in uh, Corvallis two years that, that I, uh, we, we went up there for the regionals. And uh, t tough, we played BYU, they had uh, three Bs, Bergen, Buck Walter, and another Bunty. But uh, I think the most fun part of getting into the NC2As was my junior year, when I basically was the only returning starter from the championship year. And then Gene Brown took over for Casey Jones in the final four, I mean, in the final playoffs, because Casey was ineligible because he had an extra year and NC2A wouldn't let him play. And then Casey, I mean, uh, Gene and I were the only two guys that were really starters, and we made it back to the final four again. And uh, to me, that, that year was most satisfying because the work we put in, uh, the extra effort that uh, Ross Judice put in with us was really amazing and that uh, we lost to Kansas with Wilt Chamberlain uh, the first night, but we beat Michigan State with jumping Johnny Green uh, the next night. So we came in third. And to me, that, that year was, was, was really probably one of the highlights of my career here at USF was how, how we bounced back from losing as many people as we did the year before. It's pretty amazing, quite frankly. You know, you guys are all competitors, and so I, sometimes we don't remember the games we won as much as the games we lost. So that's why that the tournament, you know, when your tournament played, Joe, who would you run up to? Um, I, I guess I guess it was my, it was my, my senior year. You know, we had a tough time with Stockton, with the UOP, with uh, Keith Swaggerty, who was, who was really a bruiser and a little fast guard, uh, Fox. You know, so we, we didn't we didn't win the con we didn't win the conference my my, my senior year, but uh, I would say that those guys were probably probably the toughest. And uh, the thing that ha that hurt the most was was those losses to UCLA because I think we were a better team then mm -hmm. than they were at that point. And uh, if we could play it over again, I'd like to go back and play those games yeah, over again. And Ali, you've played really before the UCLA dynasty kind of began. So who would you guys come across in the NCAA tournament in the regional? It was, uh, let's see, Oregon. The first Oregon was Oregon State, uh, Arizona State, UCLA, and San Francisco. Uh, that was in uh, Provo. Okay. And um, the first night we lost to Oregon State, <clears throat> and the UCLA lost to uh, Arizona State. And then back then, like Bill said, uh, you played the Constellation. Uh, and so in the Constellation, we beat UCLA in the Western Regionals that year. <clears throat> and Oregon State, uh, uh, won over Arizona State and went to the Final Four. Mm 